second tip would be to really create an inner circle, two or three people who are super, super supportive that can get your confidence back up, keep you motivated, and someone to call upon when you're starting that doubt, or even to bounce business ideas off of. You know, sometimes that's a coach. Sometimes you just have a great support system, and I have two great sisters who help me, and actually one of my daughters is an incredible um, strategist. So I'll call upon them once in a while when I might get myself confused and, and be chasing a bunch of you know, different options that I should be staying focused. Um, so I'll call upon them. And then the third tip would be make a plan, a very manageable and doable plan, taking into consideration your core values, what's important to you your own self-care, your family, your faith, your business, like put your, your relationship, put that all down and then set a three year, one year, and then bring it back to a three month goal. That yeah, three month goal then yeah, gets I mean, you focused every day. You know, you, you brought up the positivity and of course that goes back to mindset and I'm all about mindset. And uh, that is so important because Everybody knows if they're a listener of this show that you just run into one obstacle after another. I mean, nothing goes smoothly. There's a lot of highs and there's a lot of lows. And if you don't have that right mindset, you're going to have a real, real issue. And then, you know, you talked about friends, and I think that's very important, too. But I would like to suggest, and I'm sure you believe this, too, that you need to get somebody that's totally different than you are. In other words, in a different business or a different thought process, not a negative person, but somebody who doesn't really do what you do because they come up with ideas that you would never have thought of. And I think that's Absolutely. that's a key. And then, of course, you know, a plan. That brings me to time management. Um, you know, I'm a big believer in time management. And when people say, I don't have time for this, it's because if they really wanted it, they would figure it out. You know, they would figure out how to how to fit it into their schedule, whatever it is. So how do you feel that time management plays into a, a woman's life and business success? You know, time management is so key. On a, on a daily basis, I hear people saying to me, you know, how do you get so much done? And I really calendar and time slot out everything. I time slot out my workouts my personal time, my marketing time, my client time, my interview time with you, everything is on my calendar. And yes, at times you have to be flexible, especially when you're a mother um, and you run a household. But for the most part, you calendar things out and as they come up, you'll focus and get them done and move on to the next thing. For people who struggle with time management, I also recommend, um, I think it's the Pomodoro technique. It's 25 minute time slots. Do what you least want to do, 25 minutes first thing in the morning, and schedule a break in between, and then go back to another 25 minutes. And if you can even schedule five 25 minute time slots for a person who struggles with time management, that's going to be the beginning of you getting so much done that you've never realized how much you can get done before this. Yeah, you really 25 minutes be. for the laundry, right? <laughs> 25 <laughs> minutes for the dishes, 25 minutes to connect with clients, 25 minutes to plan your marketing. You start looking at life in 25 minute intervals. It's amazing how much you can get done in a day. But you know, really, Nancy, you do have to be disciplined to do that. I mean, I'm really good at that because that's something I practice all the time. And I, I think that's why I was able to do as many things as I did all my life, but it takes discipline. And, you know, when things come up that people say, oh, it would be, I'd be more, have more fun doing this, or I want to watch this on TV, or I want to, you know, I talk to a friend for 25 minutes. I mean, all of mm -hmm. those things are, uh, they're distractions. And um, we call them, as you know, shiny objects. And you've got to just be very careful about those because uh, they can make a big difference. So, um, yeah. so what do you think um, uh, has helped you rise above the life's ups and downs that you've experienced? I mean, it cannot be easy because um, you had three kids with three separate issues. Um, how did you get through that? It was tough. 
there were definitely tough times. Um, but I always looked at everything like I'm a mother. They did not choose to come into this world. I'm responsible for taking care of them. And their care did come first. But when I was able to, I would sneak my work in. So perhaps some of the years I grew slower. And I think sometimes mothers need to give themselves a break depending on what they are dealing with in their household. You will not necessarily grow as fast. And that's okay. Just as long as you're continuing to move forward. And if you fall, you fall forward. And if you have a day that you can absolutely not get anything done with your business, then the next day you get two things done. So it's really just keeping the faith that you have the ability to continue to move forward. But family yeah. is a priority, and I do respect that. And it's, um, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy. So was there a turning point in your life that made you really change perspective? I think the divorce definitely forced me to change well, that my would perspective. Do it. <laughs> that would that, do it. That would do it. Uh, you know, after being married for 25 years, never thought I'd end up divorced. Um, you know, financially, you have to now look at your life going forward differently. I have friends that are 10 years older than me and who are divorced and have limited choices in their life because they didn't set themselves up right away after the divorce to be financially set, be working towards their own goals working towards something that gets them out of bed every morning and enthuses them. And I just looked at that and I said, that's never going to be me. And I was motivated before that, but this was a turning point. It made it different for me. It made it not just I wanted to continue to run expressive living. I enjoy that. But as I got older, I thought, now's my time. What do I really want to do? I want to go back to helping women do what they love, my life experiences, my ups and downs, uh, my experience growing successful businesses through all of that is something I shared on a regular basis anyway. So now I had the opportunity to to do it more officially and then add my next stage of life, which was going to be to travel and support my kids as they got older. So what type of coach are you, Nancy? I'm kind of like a very motivated, direct, hard line coach, but I'm the most supportive coach that many of the women I'm working with have ever worked with. I, my one-on-one -on -one clients have access to me almost 24 seven. I do knock out my private time, but they do have my cell phone number. So if they need a little boost and I'm able to hop on the phone with them, I will. So I help them in their life and their business, make decisions, stay motivated, nail their sales closing conversations on a regular basis, which I find to be an interesting dynamic. Women often have trouble with the sales conversation, not feeling their value, but not feeling they should get paid. Um, so I really create a program for them. What do you want from your life? What do you want from your business? And let's get the action step steps down. I support you through all the life's ups and downs and make sure you continue to move forward. Yeah, so you really design a program just for them. And I know that you have a free gift for everyone. So what is that? I actually have multiple free gifts on my website. So I created a um, program called Your Business in Words, which is where when you're talking to friends, talking to family, at networking events, or even on your business card and online when you're on these social media, often I find people can't describe what they do in a clear, concise way. So I created a five-step simple worksheet that comes along with a webinar uh, that helps you create your business in words so that when you're asked, you'll always be able to say clearly what you do and attract the right client to you because you never know who you're talking to, whether they know someone who needs your service or if you're talking to someone who needs your service. So they can find that on my website, which is www.nancygansacoffer.com. I'm assuming that with this link, they can see how you spell my name, but I'll spell it. So it's Nancy, N-A-N-C-Y, last name G-A-N-Z-E-K-A-U, F as in Frank, E-R.com. And there's also other free products up there that I give um, away to let people learn about me, hear my voice, and see what I have to offer. Fantastic. So that's Nancy Ganzakoffer. And I want to spell it one more time. It's N-A-N-C-Y-G-A-N-Z-E 
K-A-U-F-E-R.com. So if you go there, she has a bunch of stuff that you can look at and um, a lot of things that you can see. You can see her approach to how she coaches people. And it, it sounds like, you know, you know, I'd like to dip my toe in the water and I'd like to see if I could uh, make it in business. I'd like to see whether or not I have the, the skills and the abilities. Um, she'll be able to help you in the right direction because look how many things that she's done. And she did uh, many of them when she had three small children at home and uh, created a couple of businesses right in her own home. So for those of you who don't want to go and be in an office or rent an office, but you want to work out of your home, she's the perfect one for you. So uh, absolutely amazing. You've had an amazing life, Nancy, and uh, one that I think is very exciting. And it sounds like you're going to continue doing all kinds of great things. Yes, I'm, con- you know, very typical entrepreneur. My mind goes crazy with ideas all the time, and I'm always in creating mode on how I can help the next person. So um, thank you so much for interviewing me. I really appreciate it, and you've done no an amazing problem. you know, thing yourself. Well, thank you so much, and we've appreciated having you here today. And folks, remember, get in touch with Nancy and see what she has to offer for you. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks, Gail. Have a great day.